guys. But at the same time, uh, what seems to be just uh, uh, all-out capitulation to the demands, you know, Paris uh, streets being uh, closed on Friday uh, illegally just because Muslims want to show their, their power and, and pray in the middle of the street and apparently, you know, no-go zones in, in certain parts of uh, London and England and, uh, you know, Um, I, you, you mentioned uh, no-go zones. I'm, I, I, I have looked into the evidence for that, and I'm not convinced that the... I, I, it seems to me that the no-go zones is often over-exaggerated. There, there are certainly not cases where there are entire regions, as far as I'm aware, as far as I can make out from the evidence, there, there are not entire regions which are segregated as Muslim-only zones, as is often um, unfortunately portrayed. Um, I'm happy to be uh, corrected if, if you have um, evidence to the contrary on that. No, um, I would just say, uh, no. I Tell you what, uh, friends, I don't know about you, but I, I don't I don't want a Muslim doctor. I don't want a Muslim pilot. I don't want a Muslim taxi cab driver. I don't want a Muslim bus driver. I in this country ever have. He's the last because, good one. Because the first Bush, he made the water warm. Yeah. Clinton made it a little bit hotter. Second Bush was, was everything has been done. Yeah. He's heating the water, and now is a, the water boiling. is boiling, boiling for the frog to be cooked. That's it. That's exactly right. Well, That's unbelievable. we've got some callers. Sure. Why don't we take those now? Welcome, dear caller. You're our first caller on the air on News and Views tonight. Hey, this is Radical Bonder, also known as the Fat Man. How you doing, Osama? I'm doing great, brother. Good to hear your voice. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much. I got some contra controversial views on this subject. Well, first of all, definitely um, Reagan uh, yeah. as a president, or, or his policies, uh, most assuredly. Um, and, and the reason I say this is that I grew up... Hey, brother. Good to hear your voice. Welcome. Uh, thank you. A, a, a war of proxy with Iran. Yeah. Instead, we need we need to have Iran fight a proxy war with us. In yeah. other words, we support the Sunnis in yeah. Iraq to fight the Shia. I know this sounds bloodthirsty and cold, but that's what we need to do. Well, in that's words, what we did Iran do. Yeah, that's what we did do from 1980 until 1989. And, and, and I'm and with you. The 10 years war between Iraq and Iran. But, but you know, brother, of course, I, I agree with what you're saying. The, the mistake, if we were going to go to war against anybody in 2003, it should have been Iran. But, but yeah, go ahead. Well, no, no, what I'm saying is let Iran come in and, and let us be the insurgents. Let, let them spend their, their blood and their treasure in Iraq, get them bogged down, like the way we are right now, or, or were until we're pulling out. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Let them spend billions and billions and trillions of dollars and men and material in fighting an insurgency in Iraq instead of we doing it against Iran in Iraq. Right. Okay. Now, now, Thank well, you. God bless you too. So you are doing very, very great job. God Thank bless you. you, sister. I just want to let you know about the. There are a lot of Muslim ladies, Muslim. Now they working uh, like a babysitter for Canadian women uh, families. Mm. The, and uh, they start to teach those kids, and oh. I don't know how they trust trust those people. Oh my! They trust the, they trust them very much. Like like Jesus, like a spy infiltrate the home. Yeah, mm. and they reach their goal. Those Muslims, they reach their goal. You know. Yeah. They teach those kids. Maybe they teach them Quran. I believe they teach uh, Quran.
new news to me. Well, it wouldn't surprise me in the least, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Canadian American government would suggest such a thing. You know, it's just, <laughs> just terrible. Well, sister, thank sad, you for sad, sharing. Sad. We we'll, we'll know better mm. how to pray about these things. Mm. Uh, Brother thank, Joseph, yeah. yeah. I I want you just to let them know about this thing also. You know. Yes, yes. Well, that's a good point. Do you have a particular news article, or is this just something that you've seen personally? Yes, uh, and I see it see by myself. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on that doesn't get reported, you know. And it, 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 is, it is that vile and that corrupt. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's a godless place. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we have to be careful because Islamophobia is a real phenomenon and there is real um, hatred of Muslims um, that is very genuine um, that we need to be, that we need to distance ourselves from and have nothing to do with. And I would say that um, we, we need to distance ourselves from groups like the English Defense League and the, the BNP and, and other groups. Um, and 